Hi, everyone. I'm Michael Thornton, a co-founder of Carbon Analytics. We're a revenue-generating data business that's changing the way environmental impact is measured. To be a sustainable world, we need global action. Yet, with all the progress we've seen here today and elsewhere, only 1% of businesses worldwide have any idea what their impact is on the environment. And this is because present solutions uh, to find this data rely to an amazing degree still on expert consultants and internally developed skills. While businesses are spending over $12 billion a year on this type of information, this is far from a scalable solution and insufficient for the ambitions of governments, cities, and consumers. So we brought together a team at Oxford with expertise in sustainability, carbon reporting, uh, accounting, and uh, in information intelligence uh, to develop a solution to this problem. So fundamentally, environmental data needs to be far more automatic and far more integrated to be accessible truly to businesses. So that's what we did. We built a system that takes individual transactions from a business and layers on top a carbon and water footprint right now, other footprints to come. In aggregate, these can produce a carbon footprint for a business, for a division, for a, a particular product line. So we source this data uh, from a number of public sources, from information from businesses themselves, as well as a global model of the economy that we're ever improving. So what are we going to do with this? Well, I'm, I'm pleased to announce today that we are launching our app for the Zero Cloud Accounting System. This will allow our, our, our users with a couple clicks to sync their data, have it analyzed by our software, and for them to get out a scope one, two, three carbon footprint for their business. With a couple more clicks, a business can get detailed analysis uh, of, their, of their impact, they can get certification to tell the world what they're doing, and they can get reports to put into RFPs or to give out to stakeholders. Best of all, this is real-time data that updates as frequently as you update your accounting data. Even better, for small businesses, we're making this 100% free. And we've got over 200 using it so far. We're also working with some larger companies uh, on consulting engagements uh, uh, with, with our technology. Uh, while this will produce some revenue for us in the short term and medium term, long term, the far bigger play for us is on, on the data produced by businesses and the premium, um, the premium offerings that we can offer to all of our customers as a result of it. And so this is really just the beginning, because with our technology, soon anything you can do with finance, you'll be able to do with environmental impact. We want to put a price, of carbon, uh, a price on carbon for your business? That's actually relatively easy now. We want to legislate that every business should know their full impact of their carbon footprint. Well, at the cost of a couple of clicks and a, a few a free for a business, it's, that's not so crazy anymore. And this is really where our mission is as a business, not only to, to create a great business, but to bend the curve here and to make it so that every business in every business, every transaction, social and environmental impact count. I'm Michael Thornton. This is Carbon Analytics. Look forward to hearing from you afterwards. Thank you. Thank you. Very interesting presentation. Um, I have a, a more or less technical question. So what, what, what do you take into account in your carbon footprint? Is it energy or waste or materials of goods purchased? or? Yes, yeah, so we, we, we look at literally every, every purchase a company makes. And if you think about a company, really what they are is a nexus of contracts and interactions. And each of those contracts and payments that they make causes something to happen in the world. We're very familiar with when that payment is for gas or for a fuel or electricity. You're, you're basically telling someone else to go burn something for you. What we're less familiar with is that transactions for insurance, for paper, everything has a carry-on impact. Right now we call that scope three. It's kind of the, the, the distant impacts. But really it's just the same. So what we do is we recognize when it's a very common transaction like gas, we estimate a fuel amount. If, if the customer wants to go to more level, more detail, we'll actually ask them for the amount of fuel that's in that transaction. But otherwise, we're looking across their portfolio of, of, of products to say, you're buying paper here, you're buying uh, insurance here, you're buying fuel here. Each of these has a carbon footprint. And uh, the, the accuracy of this is pretty good. It's plenty for a business to start acting and reporting on their data. Um, if they want to report to somewhere like CDP that starts to look for decimal places on your carbon footprint, we need to ask them for more info, and that's where some of our consulting services will come in. I, I don't know if that answered so, your question. Yeah, so, yeah, I guess maybe there's a follow-up. Sure. Um, so are you only looking at carbon, or are you looking at other life oh, cycle impact categories like uh, water, uh, waste? Uh, yeah, so the, the method is extendable. So right now we have carbon and water footprints calculated in. It'll be very easy for us to start adding on other footprints as we just basically get more data. So ones that we're looking at right away already are, are basically worker safety. So there, there, are, there is data by industry out there about talking about where, you know, how, how risky different industries are. So we can start to get a very little bit of a morbid calculation where you can say that your activities in the economy are probably causing about this many 
injuries or, or uh, fatalities. Not, not the happiest, but one, one, just one example of where social impact can be calculated in. So there's a greater push, um, increasing push for transparency, but how do we ensure this is not transparency just for its own sake? Can you give an example of how a business you've worked with has used this data to engage with consumers and what difference that's made? Yeah, absolutely. And actually, we've, we've, we've had a, a very interesting alignment with fashion companies we've found just completely by accident who've come to us because a lot of the younger ones, especially um, you know, millennial generation fashion companies, have this very baked into their ethos that they want it to be totally good for the world. They don't want to exploit workers, anything like that. And so we had a, a company, Rev and Ver, in San Francisco that we were working with. They, they, they for, for their, their own reasons, thought water was the, one of the most critical things that they needed to be paying attention to. And they were doing everything they could to source responsibly so as to reduce water impact. Uh, in, the, in their company. But when we did an analysis for them on their entire company and their entire operations, they realized that actually one of their largest impacts was indeed water. And not because that they were themselves using anything that, that, that produced, used a lot of water, but they actually were paying a lot for paper advertising, which in turn had a giant water impact uh, on the business. So that, that caused them to kind of go into a little bit of an existential crisis for a minute and, and adapt. Michael, thank you. Thank you.